Hello everybody and welcome back to another Nuclear Throne Ultra. We're jumping in, going for another secret ultra. This time for Atom and this one we are going for is basically, it's pretty easy. We just want to have no, um, no, I think it's Energy Brain is the one that we're not allowed to have. Um, there's the mutation and we've got to pick, I think it's one of the crowns. I can't remember which one it is now. There's a few of them that we can pick. Let's jump in and see which crowns it is. So, um... Walls don't exist, okay. Uh, so one of them was, I think Crown of Death was one of them, maybe. Let's let's have a little look too. The screen's going to go black for a second here, but one second. Um, so it is Crown Apocalypse, Crown of Haste, or Crown of Death. Apocalypse, Haste, or Death. Let's have a look. So we got Haste is fine. Um, what's Death? Crown of... Well, I don't know where the Apocalypse one is, so I guess we're doing Crown of Haste, because I don't know where Death or the other one is. They're probably secret ones that I have to unlock via other stuff, but yeah, we'll take this one for now. We've got a flamethrower. Um, oh, like, it's not a flamethrower, it's like a flame gun. But this thing's pretty goddamn good. It's, it's one of the best starting weapons, if not the best starting weapon you can get. Does mean, unfortunately, we can't do our uh, tried and true strategy of uh, taking that other crown that gives us all the extra chests, because that is... A super, super good one. I really like that one. Uh, but we are stuck with what we've got here. And yeah, we've just got to not take the one that gives us extra energy damage. That's cool. Um, I think I think Hammerhead's pretty good for extra resources here. So we'll take that. Wow, okay. I managed to smack that guy upside the head a little bit there. I'll, uh, I'll pop down here as well. Why not? Do we have, like, I think this guy has, like, built-in Gamma Guts to a certain extent. I always forget about that. Okay. Good, good. What's level three already. Yeah, it's all about just speeding our way to max rank here. Uh, throw and butt. Uh, fire an explosive laser towards your previous location, causing a plasma and lightning destination. That's pretty good. Second stomachs, of course, pretty good. I think we're going to go Bloodlust, though. I think Bloodlust will be pretty good for safety. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I could just... There's a lot of these enemies that I could just walk into, as long as I don't kill myself. Bloodlust will uh, will eventually heal me up. Okay, there's a lot going on down there, so let's uh, keep our heck in distance while we take them all out. Beautiful. Did we, did we miss anything here? No, we've got the needle there. Well, needle's fine. Super needle's really much, much better, though. Um, and we can go with impact wrists here. One second. Okay, we're good to go again. Let's continue on. Uh, yeah, so with, basically it's just getting getting there with Crown of Haste. It's not much different, which is pretty simple. Some of the uh, secret ultras are pretty simple. By the way, for those of you wondering how I know how to get all these secret ultras, I just have a document that the, that the developer sent me. If you want to know how to unlock them, I suggest going into the Discord and asking. Um, it's the easiest way because the format of the document I've been sent is not particularly easy for sharing. Um... Hmm. Yeah, let's go with that. Anything that's going to give us more rads, I think, is going to be a, a, a tip-top idea for right now. Tip-top idea, indeed. Okay, not a great hit there. Okay. Take you out. Unfortunately, I don't have Insomnia anymore. Insomnia versus this guy is very good, but god damn, this fire weapon is unbelievably good. Double laser is pretty good here as well, actually. I did not see that mine there. Oopsie. What does the slash shotgun do again? I took it anyways, so we'll find out. Um, Gamma Guts is obviously very good with this guy, but I think I'm going to take the fist still. Spiral shotgun's decent, but I, I much prefer this. The double laser is very good. I love the, the, the re-sprites of those guys. I think it's a re-sprite. They seem to be doing the exact same thing the other enemies did, but... Rather than being just like a random ball, they're kind of like sort of ghast looking things. I think, I think it looks looks a lot better and fits fits in better. Give me some plutonium hunger, please, game. That would be uh, that would go a long way for me right now. 
We're already level 7 though, we are, we're speeding through the ranks, there's Plutonium Hunger. Adrenaline Fuel though is also really good, but as I just said, I want Plutonium Hunger really badly, so... I think Plutonium Hunger is an insanely good uh, mutation. In this mod, specifically. In in regular, it's, in vanilla it's really good, but in the mod... I, feel, I, I don't know if it's got longer range or it's just because it has a visual indicator now, but I don't know. In this mod it seems really good. Good. We're able, with this weapon, we're able to kind of like shoot ahead of time and clear out a lot. Shoot before we arrive somewhere and... Oh, damn. Okay. That was a, a pretty stupid bit of damage there, unfortunately. It's okay though. We didn't have the best mutations there, I'll be honest. I, I'm, I'm really... What I'm looking for is the one that uh, boosts all our element damage in various ways. Because uh, this weapon plus that will be uh, pretty gnarly. What is this? Oh! <laughs> That's interesting. I've not seen that before. I guess we just go with Rhino skin here. I really like the noise it makes. It seems to use quite a lot of ammo though. But that seems like a good weapon. Just remember we can't take energy brain to boost it. That's part of this uh, whole challenge that we're doing here. Barely get the fire in there. Good. Hey, there it is. Mood swing. Beautiful. That's what we've been looking for. A lot of extra fire damage. Basically, it just increases our AoE potential by a good amount. Good, good. Need to get some more health though here. Got to remember that the rads disappear real goddamn quick right now because we've got Crown of Haste. We do get more, like, from each rad, but they do disappear pretty quickly. Yeah, look at that! Oh my god, the AoE is, is amazing. I'm hoping I get some HP at some point here, because I'm pretty low. I'll take the shotgun rifle, why not? Come on, HP, where are you? I have no earthly idea. Good old flare gun, baby. That was abysmal. No HP. No HP. Okay, we're probably going to have to take something like Bloodlust here to keep ourselves going. Wow, that is a, a heckin' lot of assassins. Yeah. Rads, Plutonium Hunger, with all these rads disappearing so quickly, is going to be super good. Luckily, we are getting HP on occasion here, and Bloodlust is uh, keeping us a bit more afloat as well, as we said. Good, 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 good. One dude over here, is it? Yeah. Just you, little crow boy. Level 5 already, as I said, we're, we're kind of speeding through the ranks here. Um, I still think going for the extra damage is going to be pretty goddamn good here. The extra damage on top of the, the extra fire damage we're already doing seems like pretty top tier. I think the full damage setup with Mood Swing and this fire would be actually insane. Good. I just like with this thing, it's so forgiving. Like, if you miss, um, the fire's still gonna hit him. You do a mighty good job. Frost Pop Gun. Yes, please. In fact, Frost Pop Gun could be really good because because we've got Mood Swing going right now. Um, I think we'll take Adrenaline Fuel here. Yeah, the icicles are like popping around everywhere and killing stuff. Just the only problem is we're going to end up killing enemies at a distance and missing out on their rads. So I'm having to I'm having to kind of fight through and push straight towards the rads before I lose them. Which is not ideal, obviously. Okay, we're good there. And we've got a heal from our thing. So that, that seemed to be about five or six seconds. That wasn't long. Kills insanely fast. Level 7, baby. 
What the hell's that? A rope knife? Is that just literally a knife on a rope? Um... Probably go with open mind for the potential extra chests and stuff, extra rads. Okay, I'm missing out on a ton of rads here. Not a great level, to be honest, for uh, collecting rads. I'm trying my best here, but... There is a lot of potential to miss out on stuff because of all the reviving and stuff. But the fire is doing an, a, an amazing job. Even the splinters from all this, uh... What, what's, what's... Who's reviving you? What, where is this with this reviver boy? You guys are constantly getting revived and I can't find out by who. Is it you? Surely it can't be you. You're way too far away, right? I would have thought. Apparently not. Apparently not. It was you. Again, this thing just absolutely demolishes bosses, so... Uh, keep our distance and keep going with this thing. It'll kill him pretty quick. Maybe three or more shots, four more shots. There you go. Easy. Right. Almost level eight. Explosive. Explosions, um, like, do a bit of AoE fire damage now, don't they, with this uh, mood swing. Okay, we're up to level 8. Good, good. Just gotta be careful, because obviously I can't explode myself with this just as easily. If I'm near a wall or whatnot. Okay. All good. This thing's good. I like it. I think it's better than the Frost one. Just higher damage as it is. This is going to be really good because we can no longer get one shot if we take this. So I think I am going to take that. It's really nice that I can just destroy walls with this as well and plow through towards the reds quickly. My god, this is very hectic right now. Halfway through level 8. God damn. Very hectic indeed. Straight through. Got to keep our crown of haste on. We can't take that off. The whole point of the challenge we're doing here. The whole point. But yeah, I, I have said before about asking you guys if you want to see more um, more Nuclear Throne on the channel. And people definitely do. So I'm, I'm happy to bring that to you guys when I can. Where are you? Yeah, this is total annihilation. We're almost level 9. Ah, we do have to go through the caverns here, though. I can't remember which route it is now that you that you can take to skip the caverns, but I prefer that one. Um, This is kind of tricky. Rabbit paw. I think I'm going to go for scary affairs here. I really want hypersomnia for this area, because apparently it freezes all the bats that spawn in, which is something I've been wanting for a while, because the bats... Ah, uh, my worst nightmare. Okay. We got you. Luckily with this weapon, you should be an absolute piece of piss. Yeah, you are. Good, good, good. Easy. Oh. Okay, maybe one more level. We have a lot to work with right now, so we should be fine. Again, destroy the walls if need be to make things a little easier on ourselves. Plow on through. Holy god, that guy got a bit close. That's not quite it. I was really hoping that'd be it. I don't think we're going to be able to get it at this stage then, I don't think. Yeah, sadly not. One more stage to go. Just make sure we don't die on this stage. Which I don't think we will, to be honest. We've got a very powerful setup. Very powerful setup indeed.
Just gotta be careful of the big boys. There you go. Easy. Right. There we go. We got it. Okay. Everywhere you go, you leave behind a trail of damaging goop. Pickups fade faster. Faded pickups re-roll into other pickups. Pickups can fade and re-roll twice. Oh, interesting. Oh, I see. That's quite a lot of goop we've got going on, on the floor there. I'm liking the noises this is all making. I'm intrigued, I have to say. It's, it, uh, the goop could look better. <laughs> I'll be honest, the goop could look better. But it's not awful. I think it's just the way that it has to work because of the, the way that tiles are designed in this game. This while in combat gaining ammo thing is very, very nice. You are dead. I can never remember how much HP this thing has. Either way, it's dead now. But yeah, I like this ability to like reroll pickups and stuff. Seems very useful. Even if they do fade even faster. Obviously, most of the time when we do this, we wouldn't have Crown of Hairs. Dude, yeah, they fade very quick. Holy shit. They fade extremely quick. Yeah, with explosions and stuff, this is going very well. I want another, like, I want a beefier fire weapon. That's what I'm looking for right now. Give me a fire weapon that goes crazy. Energy size isn't going to cut it. I mean, explosions are still doing mad work right now. And I'm kind of just walking through and not running out of ammo ever, so... That's all good. Oh, I didn't actually get killed by this guy this time. The worm boy managed to uh, not spawn underneath me. I think you just got to be careful of that bite. That bite that he does where he spawns underneath you is pretty deadly. Okay, we're through here, I guess, now. Yeah, honestly, this adrenaline rush is, is insane. You get so much ammo out of it. For all types as well. It prioritizes the weapon that you've got, but it just gives you ammo for all your types of weapons. Kind of always going to be full or near to full. Look at this. This is beautiful. Like, I've just, I just never stop firing, but I never run out of ammo. <laughs> It's obviously not just Adrenaline Rush, I'm getting more from all the pickups that I'm finding. Okay, this is getting a bit too hectic now. We managed to save it, I think, just about. Chunky blade gun. Seems scary. Fun. Can that hurt us? It cannot. Okay. That makes me happy. My chunky blade gun it is. Just funny to see stuff start fading literally the moment it spawns in. Okay. Hello, shark boy. This is mental. I like the chunky blade gun, it's good. It's very good. Bouncer plasma cannon. Where are we going? Bouncer plasma cannon, does that, does that kill much? It, it's definitely got a widespread, but I don't think it's the best. This thing with homing would be very good. Thing with Herming would be pretty insane. Oop, there's an incinerator. That's a fire weapon. I was asking for one of those earlier. I don't think we're going to have it for long though. We are on pretty low HP right now. It's not great to be honest. I think this thing's still top dog. Oh my god, it's so hard to keep track of what's going on. 
Somehow we're still alive. I'm just kind of walking and hoping for the best now. Somehow we live. Got a frost on that bad boy. We actually get rid of our uh, crown now, but I'm gonna go to the courtyard and see how we see how we do in there. I don't need the courtyard very often. I think it's quite fun. It's like I think whenever I whenever I'm looping, I'm not big into like can I get to loop twenty sort of shit. I think for me it's always like this is kind of like an end game activity. Seeing if I can do this like a test of my metal. I mean, this thing does buku damage, so we're clearing things extremely fast. Easy floor done. Next one's the hard one. With the teleporty boys that are impossible to hit. Oh, I'm getting run over by a van. Okay, well, either way, we'll end that episode off there. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one.